Quebec, from Europe to Latin America and beyond, throughout the month of December, the Macon Food Story partners, the Macon Telegraph, Georgia Public Broadcasting, and Mercer Center for Collaborative Journalism will explore the holiday food traditions of different cultures and countries. Here's Amir Makeupson. As part of the Macon Food Story, we're taking a holiday food tour, taking a look at some of those classic homemade dishes that bring different cultures together year after year. Through our partnership with Mercer University's Center for Collaborative Journalism, Sonia Green shows us the savory side of a Mexican classic. My name is Mario Vargan. I am uh, the head chef over here at this uh, Tango Cocina. I'm originally from Mexico, uh, the area where they grow the tequila in Mexico City. Well, let's talk about your holiday cultural traditions right. and part uh, of the festivities includes food and one correct. of the main dishes is tamales right correct but, uh, you know the tamales is one of the things that people like to show up because it is one of uh, you know it's an item that is very tasty it is a small bundle but it could also feed a lot of people and that's why we do the tamales with you know people just trying to make them as special as they can so everybody can show their their special recipe whether it was passed on from their parents their great grandparents we, in this instance, we're going to use uh, uh, shredded chicken, mm -hmm. banana leaves, and then pre-cooked masa with the uh, pipián mole. Okay. Well, show me. So, okay. Let's get started. To, to begin with, we start with a uh, piece of the masa, mm -hmm. which we're going to set it on our table, flatten it down, put a little bit of the chicken, and then we go with, with some of the mole. Mole salsa. Yum, yum, yum. It's... Uh, needs to be a little bit firmer, but then uh, we'll just go ahead and close it off as such, and there you go. That's a tamale right there. Wow. So just repeat that about a couple hundred times, depending on how many people <laughs> you come in the neighborhood. Okay. All right, now comes the fun part. Yes. And as you can see, the, the whole thing really goes together high. with the... Uh, so pretty. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a taste, huh? That's so good. <laughs> that is heaven. Mm. So part of doing the tamales is because the satisfaction of uh, you know seeing that you've done a, a good job, and then when your your uh, your guests get to try it and then either give you uh, good comments or say, ah, oh, my tamales are better. <laughs> so well, you my, need to come to my house. Matter two thumbs up. Okay, so well. Good. Tamales are a holiday classic, but they're also served throughout the year. In Macon, I'm Amir Makeupson. You can tell us about your family's holiday tradition from the homeland. Join the Macon Food Story group on Facebook. Next week, the Macon Food Story explores the holiday food tradition of Deutschland round in downtown Dublin.